creating a world is something that I think can be both stressful and fulfilling at the same time. I see it almost as creating a building, just a lot more complex with more things to really um, think about. My custom minor is entitled Experimental Architectural Animation and Visualization, and it's really an exploration into um, really the blend between architecture and animation and those tools. I essentially sought to explore the narrative aspects of visualization in architecture and um, really push the usage of VR in architecture. This project is the ultimate example of Nexus Learning because it takes two colleges and combines faculty and courses and expertise from both to exceed the capability of either individually. The collaboration between the College of Architecture and the Built Environment and the Canbar College of Design, Engineering, and Commerce was key in driving this project forward. And I think Sal really was a bridge between these different disciplines that have a lot in common, you know, architecture, user experience design, uh, animation, virtual reality. So Sal really gave all of us as faculty the opportunity to work together in ways that we haven't had the chance to work uh, together before. By a stroke of luck, I met Eli actually online during an online Zoom review when one of my older professors I was TAing for um, kind of just connected us and we just so happened to be in the same Zoom room together. My access to Eli as an architecture alumni who's now working in game design um, has really been invaluable. He has brought a ton of different like perspectives on really how to develop this, but also give a little bit more of a real world touch to it than you usually get in school um, and really, really help me structure sort of how I'm pushing along the project and getting it done on time. The real world input, I think, set me up for, you know, life past graduation while also knowing that there's a lot more directions I can go in. We're really starting to think about how the internet, the internet of things, connectivity, uh, even hybrid work is playing into the future of learning and the future of the workforce too. One of the main things to consider right now is that innovation is happening so fast. New jobs are being created that weren't even available five years ago. So right now we're teaching students how to work for the future of work. So we're not necessarily focusing on training people in jobs that might have been available five years ago. We're really looking forward and trying to think about how can we create jobs that are on the forefront of new industries? And I think that's one of the amazing things that uh, is happening here at Jefferson. Andrew and Freddie, through the entire project, were probably the most supportive people you could ask for. And they were equally as excited about the project as I was. Um, sometimes I think they were maybe a little bit more excited than I was. Everybody wants to collaborate because everybody's excited. Uh, they want to experiment. They want to try something different. And we're not a big lumbering place where you can't fail safely or experiment or learn something new or different. Jefferson is a place where you can explore. In general, collaboration is what we do on this campus. It's not just what we do best, it's what we do. Linking together professors across colleges, students across professions to work together to expand what they think is possible. That's Nexus Learning. I don't think anyone is ever ready for the future, um, but I am definitely prepared to take on any challenges that come my way and learn from them.
game over.